These are some nice cosmos flowers, very beautiful. Come out here and look at the flowers. What do you think about the flowers now, Masako? Well, we just got through eating. Had a very delicious uh, lunch. And we come out and look at the flowers and drink the remainder of her tea here. And now you can see it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 11.37. And uh, food came around 11 o'clock and we're already finished eating and drinking. And, and how are you doing? Do you like to get vitamin D? Get a lot of vitamin D out here and some fresh air and a nice view of the flowers and the nice beautiful garden. I like these flowers. Some people say that's their most favorite flower, the cosmos. I like the cosmos. In the universe of love, we need to uh, have a cosmos. The cosmos, the cosmos in the universe of love. Now, Masako, they don't even give you anything to drink in there, right? So, I, we're going, we're finished with this uh, eating rehabilitation. We're finished with a drinking rehabilitation, you know. And we're out here just enjoying life now. And we want you to start talking, right? Get a little vitamin D. Nobody even comes out for one minute. And we are in the universe of love with the cosmos. Very beautiful flowers. I like these too. I don't know. I, I was never so fond of them. Some people told me they're their favorite flowers. And I started looking at them and hmm, I see what they mean. They are uh, very uh, beautiful flowers, huh? Very beautiful, huh, Masako? Would you like some something to drink, huh? Would you like something to drink? There you go. Yeah, she can drink too. Anyway, uh, we're over here in the cosmos, in the universe of love, with spontaneity flying high in the universe of love, as we say, at the nursing home. Well, there's the nursing home right there. It's nice. It's nice and clean inside. Outside is very beautiful. But inside is very beautiful too. But inside their minds is dirt and garbage. They don't want to feed her, as I said, after seven years. Huh. And now she's smiling. This is her smile. She seems to uh, like smiling. She can only smile on the one side because after a brain hemorrhage. But, you know, anyway, what I'm trying to say is they don't want to feed her, you know. And they, they insist. And I, I think, uh, you know, that's a, a reason it's really high impact is that how many other people have gone through this over the years and years and years that they could have eaten, but uh, they couldn't eat by themselves. So they put them on the tube, you know. And I never hear about this in the YouTube or uh, Internet. They just talk about the dangers or the good points, bad points about the tube. But they never say that nowadays they're putting them on the tube when they can actually eat. Because they don't want to feed them and waste the time and waste the money. And the owners are running around in their Benzes and Mercedes. And, and they're painting the beautiful building here with all the money they make, you know. Off not feeding these people and making it look really clean. Waxing it up in there. It's very sanitary in there. You can't complain about the sanitation. They keep it clean, I tell you. It's all clean on the outside, but inside it's all dirt and filth. Believe me, I've seen people acting up in there. They're walking around and not obeying. And a few days later, man, they're lobotomized by some medication, I know, because they can't even move and they look so sleepy. I, you know, I, I know about drugs, you know. You know, I smoked some marijuana before, you know. They look like they've been smoking marijuana to me. Even worse, because they, they look, I mean, they can't even move, you know. And they've been, they smoked some marijuana. Wow, they smoked a lot of marijuana, because they look really spaced out. And then a few days before, they were running around and singing and, and doing what they want to do in there. But they didn't like it. So they lobotomized them. Yeah, they lobotomized them. Lobotomized them with the medicine. 